Good morning battery lovers. Today we are going to be looking at a one moff into battery. Uh, it's the first time we ever got them in. Uh, they recently went bankrupt. Uh, this customer, very nice customer, he actually sent his whole e-bike in to them to have it serviced. But that was just when they bankrupted so they sent it back. And it's very hard to get your one-off uh, rolling again. We had the extender pack in before, and I thought it was made by BMZ, which it still might be. Uh, but this is made by Dynapack in Taiwan. So if you're looking for, for one-off spare parts, Dynapack in Taiwan might be willing to sell you some if you're a business customer and want to buy a lot. Uh, he hasn't uh, used his battery for a couple of months. Now it doesn't turn on, it doesn't charge. Uh, it's a very nice into battery. He helped us take it out and it wasn't too difficult uh, Here we can see the charging and discharging port uh, Charging can only be done via the e-bike uh, Four large pin and seven small, but we're getting not even one volt of any of these ports So hopefully we can balance them up or replace the cells And it's a very soft plastic tube seen similar battery cases before yeah it's a standard there we go yeah, this is the part where the connector oh nice weatherproofing four wires so probably two for charging two for discharging the top ones are thicker, so they are probably for discharging. Nice, no fuss. Oh, and it's 36 volts, and it's supposed to be 500 watt hours. 36 volts, 10S4P, LGMU1, I think. Nice. <laughs> how how do they get? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It does have ten cell groups with ten cells in each. That's why it's so long. Absolutely not impossible. It's a plastic tube, so you don't need any isolation. And it has this cover which we've seen on batteries in Sweden with planned obsolescence. This might be a common cover. VP, voltage positive, discharging positive, and it goes all the way from here. So that's positive. And uh, why does it have so many pins? It's communicating with the e-bike. So you cannot use any other battery. Just remove this. Should be able to measure, measure some voltage in this. And there's a uh, room for a button cell. 14.75. Uh, Let's see if that's the full voltage. 16.53. 18.35. So it's not that low. It's not that low. Do we have battery? Voltage positive VP VG voltage ground I'm guessing and that should be from the battery 18.35 So let's see if the cells are unbalanced 1.7 1.8 1.8 So it's actually pretty balanced 1.7 1.8 so we can actually balance up this. I usually don't um, balance up when they're less than two volt, but since they're right under two volts, I think this is actually quite doable. Uh, I don't think you can put any generic BMS in here. Uh, replacing the cells doesn't seem to be too difficult. So most repair shops would probably be able to do that. Replacing the BMS is another matter. See if we can tell. Oh, here it actually says what the wires are for. Key in RX, TX, ground. I think it says key in D. And then I can't 
tell D E T something that looks like fruit maybe fault and then test so it's communicating via UART oh and it has a QR code but that's probably for in factory use now uh, we will definitely accept more one moth we will try and balance this up and see if we want to take a charge there is some um, uh, discoloring here most likely it's flux but it's a little ugly it might be a burn component or so yeah I need a microscope to tell so how, how will we do to fix this one moth battery we'll try and balance it up and it's kind of difficult uh, the EST connectors are so small so we can't insert pins here uh, we have to go on the actual uh, wires and the wires are located under the BMS so I have removed all the tape we can put it to the side here seems to be a temperature sensor on the middle part and I'm gonna be using a hobby charger like this IMX B6 mini and we are gonna charge up half of the battery pack and then the other half since it cannot handle 36 volt uh, 6, 6S at the most so let's go for the positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2, 3, 4, 5 this is middle since it's so low it's too low for life before even so we will have to go into lead acid or nim if it's over 2 volts you can go into life before mode uh, let's go with the lead acid and it will go up to at least 2 volts per cell PB and then we need 5 uh, 2 amps we want to do this as slow as possible uh, 0.1 amps per cell and 5 hope this one is long enough good connection oh no almost yeah a little spark so let's see if we want to charge 9.23 uh, there are two things you can do while you're charging uh, you can measure the voltage seeing that all cell groups actually increase and you can check for temperature none of the cells should get hot at all uh, actually when reviving them from such a low voltage they can get slightly hot but not until they're up to about 3.5 volts or something like that Eleven point. It's um, almost up to twelve volts. What do we need? Fifteen. Five times three. Let's check one cell group here. Uh, Two point three. Another one. Come on. Now you're under here. Yeah, my bad. I wanted to play around 2.37. And when you're reviving cells, maybe you want to stick around and fill in the cells while they're doing this. We're charging extremely slow, so it's gonna take a while, but not too long. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. An important thing to test after you've done this so that you know you are successful measure the voltage when you're done charging and then measure them again in a few hours and see that the voltage does not drop if the cells don't want to leave they will drop down to the same voltage they were before it will take several weeks to get down to like 1.8 volts again but they will drop a lot yeah now it's finished for lead acid 5s so let's go up to 6s then we will get it up to 13 or 14 volts yeah I will leave it there for a little bit and get back to you once we're done with this side 
Okay, so now we've balanced up all the cells. The battery is 35 volts. Uh, we managed to get the tube back in there. And let's see if we want to take a charge. Yeah, one mouth. It seems to be working, it's charging and it's making creepy noises. I think that's supposed to be how it is. He will have to give us a test ride and we will see if this is truly a good e-bike.